From inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. First pitch moments away, and today on the hill, Alec Manoa and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here, and as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it, and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. And the pitch. Nicky Lopez stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. First pitch, 707. The pitch. Foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One down. Seems that he was committed to swinging at this pitch, regardless of where it was before the pitch was even released. He's in an 0-2 count, and you're looking to battle at that point, trying to protect the zone. So you do become a little more swing happy, but on a fastball that doesn't even come close, makes you think there wasn't much of a two-strike adjustment being made there. Swing hard in case you hit it. He didn't hit it. D.J. LeMayhew in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. No score, just getting started top of the first. Next offering is downstairs. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming, that's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with the big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. 3 0 down. And that's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and. Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. The pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Stanton, the guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate, but he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Two and one now. Outside corner, there's a strike. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time it's been a little more open straight up and now more closed one thing hitters will do it's not so much about the stance but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher that typically that high fastball right if it's 99. close to the top Aaron. of the strike zone a hitter Judge. if he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss and first offering is fouled off mm -hmm. 
And here it comes. And it's even up. And a pitch. And that's outside. Two and one on Judge. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And the righty deals. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. That is it. The third baseman. So to a board and two outs, scoreless game. Josh Donaldson will hit next. First offering misses badly for ball one. Right hander kicks deals. And that misses off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Josh Donaldson leaves the yard. And they jump out front. It's 3-0. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Batting six, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. In there in its own one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Going two now. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 3-0. Make me smile, some people called it rhythm and soul I could never get enough of this kind of stuff Cause I think they call it rock and roll But I say roll Come on, Bottom of the first, and starting this one is Jordan Montgomery. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he That's gets looser, the ball comes out of his Whoa. hand with more life, and he's able to yeah. wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Slice the other way and foul. It's softly on the ground to third. Fires across the diamond, and Bichette is retired. That is Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Bo Bichette. And you got to like this matchup for him as a guy who hits left handed pitchers as well as anyone, it seems. I mean, he's hitting over 300 against South Paul's this season. He's got a good shot to make a big impact against the left hander on the hill today. 
Rymel Tapia up to hit. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Pitch misses, two and oh. Bounced out to short. LeMahieu is there. Fires over to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. The first baseman. And now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Well, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip. And the matchup is very favorable. First offering misses the mark. This to third, and that's just foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. That's to third, and it's through for a hit. Two out, base hit keeps the inning alive. Well, they found himself behind in the count right that there, but he didn't give in. Got the top three. of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through Ringer. the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. George Springer in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. That's down and in. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. Pitch. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's the third out. Inning over. Blue Jays held in check. They trail in this one 3 0. Back now in Toronto. Here's Joey Gallo. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Manoa back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Next offering is down low. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Swings and misses. And out two and two. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes he goes. And quickly one away in the second. Jason Dominguez getting ready to hit. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
and the 1 0. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and the count even at one. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Hernandez racing over to make the catch. Batting on the catcher, Ben Wortvet. Ben Wortvet, the next to hit. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Next nope. offering upstairs. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page and that's something that this guy does really well gets in sync with his pitchers left hand hitter waits stays alive Boog his preparation is off the charts I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit he's so buried in that video room it's hard to get a chance to talk to him Next one in the dirt. Next one off the plate inside. Full count three and two. Righty delivers. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. The batter number um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full okay. scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Lopez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And the 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Oh, Next offering upstairs. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. The blessing for the brethren. The brethren. Brethren. The brethren. I got my blessing. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the second. And now for the Jays, Teoscar Hernandez. The, right field. the Blue Jays Stay in striking off. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Ball Next one. offering is down low. 1 and 0. Oh. The wide to kick the pitch. That one finds the corner. And the count 1 and 1. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next pitch is outside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count.
kicks and deals. That's off the mark. Now three and one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Holy Toledo! Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 3-1. Got in the jet stream on a line drive. He saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. And the first Florida. pitch misses for ball one. Oh, he's yeah. got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Next pitch is outside. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And here is Matt Chapman. First offering, and it just misses. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering in the dirt, and it's 2-0. Tying run at the plate. Just missed. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Left field base hit. They take the force out. That's one out the bottom of the second. Batting nuts. The Jeffrey. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone. The next offering misses. Ball two. Two on, one out. 
That catches the zone for a strike. Two balls and a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And there's two away. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. That's a base hit. Oh, he botches it. Chapman headed for the plate. He scores, and they trail by one. To second, and he's safe. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now it's going to be Rymel Tapia. Grounded out his first time. Now batting, left fielder, Rival. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Second and third, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Oh, and two now. Hard hit to right center. Base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 4-3. Back-to-back base hits. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. digs in now, and he's already now singled in this game. Vladimir. In there for strike one. And now the lefty. Next offering misses down and away. Move first. Tapia back on a dive. And a pitch. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Over to first, and he's saved. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. And a pitch. And a base hit up the middle. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being Number down four. in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for... Somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And he deals. Hey. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. George Springer takes it deep, his 38th of the year, and they add to the lead, it's 7-3.
take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run goal. He squared it up and knew it was gone. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jordan Montgomery will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher on here, Jonathan Loisica. He's into the game with the bases Number empty. 23, Jonathan Loisica. Teoscar Hernandez now at the plate. He's already homered in this the batter, game. The right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And that's in there for strike one. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Yo one. Out there to center. Judge cutting across. Squeezes it. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's DJ LeMayhew. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. First pitch, not close. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And now the count. 1-2 and two after the swing and the miss. Popped up. Bichette brings it in. One up, one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton, hoping to lock up a home run title down the stretch. He leads the league right now. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, just misses. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. One down, base is empty. That one missed, now three and oh. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Fouled off, he was late. The three one. That one's in there, and it's three and two. So now three and two, and he walked him. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Up next. Now the it's Yankees. Aaron Judge up to the, the right play. Fielder. He's Aaron. a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. 
early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The pitch. On the corner for a strike. Strike one. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. The one two right through there got him down on strikes and he knew it. Well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen but certainly got away okay. with the location there. Uh -huh. You know sometimes as a hitter when you're down in the count you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate not expecting it and it just kind of freezes you. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. The 0 1. Down the right field line and a base hit. Hernandez quickly throws it in, and that forces the runner to hold on at third. Multi hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And first offering is fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. Smash to the left side. They get the force. That ends the frame. Yank strand a pair. Deficit remains at four. It's seven three. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now Liga, it's the DH, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This Gurriel. guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Right-handed reliever, and the 1-0 misses low. The pitch. And there's a strike. That's Off the mark there. Three and one now. Here comes a pinch. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on the tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Chapman gets a piece there. Hit weakly on the ground. Rizzo. On to LeMayhew. Back to first. Not in time. 
Well, that was going to be a really tough one no to turn two Number on. Eight. So a nice job second to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Loisica throws what a lot of people consider to be a power sinker. Throws it with serious velocity, but it moves a ton and it stays down. The pitch. Now one and one. And Boog, against a guy like this, you grab your backup bat out of the rack. You don't want to take your gamer up there because you know there's a good chance it's coming back broken. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, there's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Three innings complete. Blue Jays seven. And the Yankees three. Start of the fourth. Here's some real power at the plate. Joey Gallo. Leading off for the Yankees. The left fielder. Joey Minoa back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Next pitch downstairs. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. And next for now New York, batting. Jason Dominguez. Jason. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Next pitch is in the dirt. Yeah, the count one and two. Stays alive. One, two now. Two ball, two strike. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Tapia makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting the catcher, Ben Wurtvet. Two outs, space is empty. Ben Wurtvet stepping in now for the Yankees. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Fouled off to the right. Two outs. That's through there for a strike. And 
And the righty deals. Popped up. And there's a hit. So now back to the top of the order. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Welcome back. Bottom four. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. For the Jays. And the the right hander back to work. Alejandro. There's the strike. Kirk. And the next pitch is way outside. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Bo Bichette the up to the dish. 11. Shortstop. Bo. First offering misses the mark. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. No outs, runner on second. And it is two and one. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. He talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. 2 1 now. That one inside. All three. And ball four to a board. Next for Toronto, Rymel Tapia. In there, and it's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. No outs, runners at first and second. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Lopez, one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Up next to the blue team, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Ripped on a line. Dominguez makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Toronto, but they lead it by four. It's 7 3. Ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Nicky Lopez. The, Yankees, the second baseman, Nicky. They've got Lopez. a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The pitch. That one outside, and that is ball one. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Next pitch inside, and the count is 2-0.
kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And that's a foul ball. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But now that battle. time, a little anxious. DJ LeMahieu. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is down low. And now 2-0. Next one is off the plate. Three and O. Oh. Here's a three O. Oh. And there's ball four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last Next one wasn't even close. The designated one hitter. gone runner at first. Giancarlo, Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. And a foul ball. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. And a pitch. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Next ball. offering misses, gonna count one and, two. one and two. Next offering upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swung on, belted. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Man at first, Judge. and now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. The 1-0. Nope, that's down. And a ground ball to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Up oh, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That's as far as Alec Manoa will go, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Bowden Francis. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we made a little length out of this arm. 
coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. First and second, two down. Here's Josh Donaldson. He's already homered here in this one. First offering, and it just misses. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. And the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. It's a one-two. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And he deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Clay Holmes. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Back now in Toronto, bottom of the inning. Now here is George Springer. Well, in their win the last field. game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was now looking for right, right there. Fielder. He's a pull hitter, and girl. that's about as much as you can pull uh, one and down. keep it fair. So no surprise right there. Nothing the shifted defense can do about it, though. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. One for two. And yeah, the first one offering out. is not close. Right-hander kicks, deals. Not even close there. Two balls, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss. Now two and one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. And it's Lourdes now Gurriel that's Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. In there for strike one. Oh and one. Yo one. one. 
And that's downstairs and outside. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Now the tag at third, and they got it. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty now good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. Now it's Matt Chapman. First offering misses badly for ball one. Righty to the plate. That one missed. Next offering is fouled back. The 2 1. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. This one chopped up the middle. And the inning is over. Blue Jays held in check, but they still lead it 7 3. Back here at Rogers Center, and now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. This to third. Chapman collects the throw to first. Rizzo out of the play. Now battle the left fielder, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Movement in the bullpen. Trevor Richards preparing to come on if needed. Garcia getting cranked up as well. Next one misses. Now 2-0. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 oh is in for a strike. Next pitch is outside. Fouls one away and now three and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him. And there's two away. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now here is Jason Dominguez. And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The 1-1. One, one. Sliced hard, but foul. The wind of the pitch. 
Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off no, speed, but it still the stings. Catcher. Getting hit by and a fastball is a whole different catch. story. Rortvet up for the third time and takes ball one. The next offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Two-o. Yeah, that's outside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Hey. In for a strike, now 3-1. Three one swing and a miss as he was late that time. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. Kind of keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Bounce back to the mound. Fires over to Guerrero. And that is that. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the six. Blue Jays seven and the Yankees three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. And now for the Jays, Leading Kevin Biggio. The second baseman, Kevin Biggio. The right-hander back to work. Ball nope. one there. Counts one and oh. And downstairs. Next pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. And a 3 0 finds his own. Down on strikes, one away. Here's the catcher, Alejandro the catcher. Kirk. Alejandro. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Oh. 
On the ground to the left. Throw on to Rizzo. Two up, two down. Now back. The shortstop. Whoa. And now the shortstop. Bo Bichette. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with oh, the nice. other more recognizable names in this lineup. The wind and the pitch. Called strike right there. Falling behind two and one. Up the middle. Not in time, he legs it out. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. New pitcher for the Yankees, Joely Rodriguez. He last pitched two days ago. So two down now, and here is Rymel Tapia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Back over to first. And yeah, they're keeping him close. And here it comes. Bichette goes. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Runner at second, two down. Rip towards third. Donaldson tosses the first in time. That ends the inning. One left for Toronto, but they lead it by four. It's 7 3. We go to the top of the seventh, and stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. The shortstop, DJ. The Yankees looking to rally. Francis back to work. Ball one on a pitch inside. So two balls and no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. In the air, left field. Tapia pulls that one down. One away. Now batting. The designated hitter. Giancarlo... Here's Stanton now. Swing and a base hit. The 
the right fielder, number 99. Aaron, Aaron Judge at the Judge. plate for the fourth time tonight. First offering misses the mark. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Here comes a pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Here's a 1 1. That one misses. And a count 2 and 1. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Good eye right there. I got three one. Three ball, one strike. That one ripped, but foul. Payoff pitch. Judge rips that one. Aaron Judge leads the yard, his 37th over of the year. It's 7 5. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty one away. And up next for New York, Josh Donaldson. First pitch, not close. Donaldson. Next offering misses, 2 and 0. Oh. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. In the air to left center. And that one hops the wall. Not in time. He's safe. The batter, the first baseman. Anthony. New pitcher now for the Jays, Trevor Richards. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Number 33, Trevor Richards. One out, runner at second. And here is Anthony Rizzo. In the dirt. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch way upstairs. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. And the right-hander deals. And the tying run is on base. You know, Boog, it's been said, these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight Gallo. plate discipline. First and second, one out. Gallo. Joey Gallo stepping in now for the Yankees. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. In the dirt, but kept close. Two on, one out. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. It's 
strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you've got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The one two. Pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Next offering is way upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. Two gone now. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Jason Dominguez stepping in now for the Yankees. That one's in there, 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Next offering way off the plate. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Next one just misses. Counts full, three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. First and second, two down. And that one pulled foul. Got him looking. Good job of damage control right there. Two run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's now 7-5. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. For the Jays, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Chad Green, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Britton, a left-hander, also throwing. That's hard hit in the line. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. He was all over that fastball that's right there. Tell you what, if he gets four. under it just by a fraction George. of an inch or a little bit more, Springer. that's way back. Here's George Springer. And he had a big swing of the bat early on in the ball game. Yep, a three-run rocket back in the second. Even though it was early, a big homer like that can be tough to come back from when you're on the other end of that thing. I mean, it's tough. Sets up an uphill battle the rest of the way. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now batting right fielder, Teoscar. And now Teoscar Hernandez. First offering way inside, almost got him. The lefty, the 1 0. That one inside, and the count is 2 0. pitch and that one fouled off 
This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The pitch. Three balls, one strike. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. Hernandez with a high fly ball deep to left. Holy Toledo! He sends a rocket to left, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-5. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Guriel. The batter, the designated hitter, Lourdes. Guriel. And the first offering is not close. And the 1 0. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up. Steps on first for the out. Now that is the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Here's Matt Chapman. And that one ripped into right. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Next up for the Blue Jays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1-0. Nope, inside, ball two. Left field, Gallo settles under this one. And that is the third out of the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 9-5. Jimmy Garcia will take over here, and he'll work on holding this lead. Jimmy Garcia. And welcome back. We go to the eighth, and now Ben Workbeck. The catcher, Ben Workbeck. And a pitch. That clips the corner. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Julian Merriweather getting loose out there. Mesa getting loose as well. A one down. He swings and fouls one off. Nope. Next offering is down low. And it's one and two. The one, two. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Now Once he recognized that it was off speed, 
He just wasn't Whoa, able to make man. an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. And the righty deals. And one and two. One ball, two strikes, again. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. And the pitch. That's a ball. Hard hit left side. Chapman over to first in time. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting. Shortstop. DJ LeMahieu. Now it's LeMahieu up to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. That one laced to center and a base hit. So the inning is still alive with DJ LeMayhew coming to the dish. That's now about as textbook it. as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Another solid power season. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh The next pitch misses. One and one. The one one. That one fouled off. And he deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that's the third out. The Yanks leave one. They trail it by four. It's 9-5. Well, well, this Chapman comes in to take complete. over. He has a now, great slider with York. tons of movement. Number 54, Aroldis Chapman. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Leading up for Toronto, the catcher, Alejandro The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. And the pitch. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. That's in for a strike. Chop back up the middle. 
throw on to Rizzo. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Action in the pen down there. Chad Green up and loosening in the pen. Britton warming up as well. The 0 1. Nope. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And now it's even up. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two down. The batter. No left fielder. Right two outs, bases empty. So up next for Toronto, Rymel Tapia. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two outs. He was late there. Strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And the next pitch is way outside. Fouls one off. Two and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Donaldson tosses the first in time. And that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays as they can't add to their 9-5 lead. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Julian Merriweather. 25th appearance of the year for him. Back now in Toronto. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. And here it comes. And Judge spoils that one. Here's your one. There's the strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Donaldson now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Now the 0-1. And the slider just misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jordan Romano, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Meza getting cranked up as well. Righty delivers. And it's fouled away. Got and they're down to their last down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring oh, that to a halt game. once you've committed. The they tried to check the swing, Anthony just couldn't do it. Rizzo. So digging in, Anthony Rizzo.
They say he went. The why to kick the pitch. And now one strike away. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Is just one strike away. That one not close. Now one and two. High fly ball out of the left center field. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays take the series opener here at home. Well, these guys got the bats going early with a huge second inning, and they never really look back. When you have that type of focus, your confidence grows, and you just expect to go out and dominate and win each inning. And then on top of it, the ball game. Our final score here, 9-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us. Final line for tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Nine runs, 14 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Yankees, five runs, eight hits, one error. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.